If you've watched the motion tracking and witness protection tutorial, then you'll know that the BCC plugins often have a built-in point tracker to help you motion track effects to your footage. So in this example, we've created a small lens flare that has been tracked into the building at the top of the mountain. And if we have a look under the motion tracker down here, you can see the motion path is actually pretty straightforward and it was able to handle that without any issue whatsoever. What happens when we get to something a little bit more complex? Now I want to add the BCC Lens Flare 3D to this clip as well, but if we have a look through here, you'll see that actually there is no one single interesting point that we can work with and track over here. But starting with Boris Continuum Complete version 10, we've got a whole new option available to us now in the form of Imagineer Systems Mocha built directly into BCC plugins. And let's have a look at how that would work with our Lens Flare 3D here. So if I apply the effect and open it up and take a little look down, we actually don't see anything that says Mocha at all. And that's because Mocha support is built in to the pixel chooser effect. So any filter that has a pixel chooser will also have Mocha there. So I'm gonna take something like a, a simple blur, like a uh, maybe a BCC Gaussian blur, and just start with that. And if we come down to Pixel Chooser Mocha off here, I'm gonna turn Pixel Chooser Mocha on and come down to the Pixel Chooser Mask, which in version 10 and above is called Mask slash Mocha, and click on Launch Mocha. This will helpfully tell me if my host is not set to full resolution. And do I want to do proxy tracking instead? If I want to do proxy tracking, I can just say yes, or I can say no and take my video quality back up to full for launching Mocha one more time. Now, the idea behind this is not to be a Mocha tutorial, it's to show you how to use Mocha data within BCC. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use a technique available to Mocha's plane tracker called unlink tracking to track through the motion within that shape that I just drew to generate out my tracking data. So the shape itself, stay static whilst Mocha determines the movement that's going on within that shape. And you can find more information about that in Mocha specific tutorials. And once that's finished tracking in, what I'll now do is I will, and I'm just gonna reposition the surface here, which is gonna be the um, tracking data that we take out, the actual point data that we take out. And it lets us also check to make sure that everything is looking kind of okay, and that seems to be working out quite fine. Now, even though this is a version of Mocha that is built into BCC, we can still export out tracking data. We don't have to work within the, the host that we were working in previously. So I can now take out this tracking data as either a BCC corner point or BCC center point. And because the lens flare only has a single point of interest in its tracking, I'm just gonna use the BCC center point format. I'm gonna click save, and I'm gonna have a tracks folder, and I'm gonna call this one Lens Flare. I'm gonna save that out, and I'm just going to exit out of Mocha and come back into Avid Media Composer. Now this effect could have been anything that had a pixel chooser because I was only using it to launch Mocha, and now I don't need it anymore. So I can come back into my BCC lights, come to the Lens Flare 3D, MT, I need the motion tracking version. I'll change the preset to a lens star, why not? And let's come back down to our motion tracker. And you can see the top pull down of the motion tracker is tracker data, import or export. So I'm gonna load in that tracking data that I just created in Mocha. And I'm gonna take that lens flare. And if we have a little look, we can see our motion path quite happily there. So that's working very nicely. All I have to do is now come down to apply, tell it to apply it to the light source, and I can happily then offset this off of the screen. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. And let's come back to the beginning and just play that through. And so even though we've got a lens flare that is, or a track object that is way, way off of the screen, because we've used the Mocha tracking data, 
we can get a very realistic lens flare, even with the target so far off screen. And obviously we don't have to use the built-in version of Mocha because we're loading this from a file. You can have someone else with a standalone version of Mocha that's gen done all the hard tracking work for you. And you can happily import that into any effect that supports the single point motion tracking data. So that's how you use motion tracking data in BCC created with Imagineer Systems Mocha. Thank <laughs> you.